Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Tech Click, and today we're going to be reviewing the Odin Zero Gravity mouse pad. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the quality and performance that you get with this pad. And after comparing this with all the other mouse pads that I've tried before, this is my new favorite. Without a doubt, it just checks all the boxes for everything that I want in my mouse pad, and I totally understand the hype around this thing. And the crazy part is that I think this is Odin's first gaming mouse pad, and to have something this good on the first go around is seriously impressive. A balance of speed and control is something we hear a lot in the mouse pad space, and it's pretty much used to describe anything that's not a lightning fast hard pad or a muddy slow cloth pad surface. Well, I think the zero gravity's performance is really showing you why you're getting the best of both worlds here. Let's get into it. Starting off with the unboxing experience, the mousepad came in a dope black and red box. The mousepad was rolled up nicely into the packaging, and there wasn't any damage to the mousepad or the packaging itself from delivery. The stitching was in practically perfect condition, no fraying or inconsistencies, and the mousepad didn't have any weird factory smell. Looking at the specs, this mousepad is available in 5 different sizes, starting with XL, XL Extended, Regular Extended, Double XL, and Triple XL. Pricing starts at $17 for the low end and goes up to $50 for the Triple XL, which is going to be an absolute giant on your desk. The Triple XL was even too large for me, and I opted to go with the Double XL, which had more than enough room to accommodate for my mouse, keyboard, monitor feet, and headset if I really wanted to. I really like the depth that you get with the larger mouse pad sizes because most mouse pads will give you a lot of horizontal leeway, but when it comes to making vertical movements, sometimes you'll have to readjust when you're playing on a low sense. Now with the Odin, I found myself always having plenty of room to operate and using a 60% keyboard along with my mouse absolutely helped with that too. Pricing is going to be a bit on the higher end considering that the double XL is $35 and when you factor in the shipping cost and tax, you may actually be around the $40 price point but I believe the quality of this pad does warrant the pricing, but we'll get more into that in a bit. As far as availability, retailers for this is going to be directly through Odin Gaming's website or mechanicalkeyboards.com, Micro Center, Max Gaming, and a few other online retailers. There's plenty of options when it comes to getting this mouse pad online, so I would try to find the lowest price by checking out the different retailers, and then also if they have one sold out at a particular website, then you can check those other retailers to see if they have that particular model in stock. The bottom of the mouse pad does have a completely black non-slip rubber base that kept the mouse pad completely still while gaming and using my mouse. Never had any issues with its lighting, even when using both hands to try to move it, and this could be attributed to the weight of the mouse pad because it is on the heavier side. When it comes to the design of this pad, it's offered in two main colorways for the majority of their sizes, which is black and white. If you were looking at getting one of the larger sizes like the Double XL, then they also have a new blue and pink special edition that is available as well as other multiple streamer editions and a new Alex Soto edition that I think looks sick. The colorway options they have at the moment are really good and I think if they keep expanding their lineup, especially with more streamer editions and artist collab colorways, then we're going to see some really cool designs. The only branding on this mouse pad is the Odin logo, which is in the top right corner and it's not intrusive or very large, so I think it's fine. I personally like the design of their logo, so I do like seeing it on the top right corner, but like I said, it doesn't really get in the way either, so that's a plus. Moving on to the feel of this mouse pad, it really is the best balance of speed and control in any mouse pad that I've tried so far. I feel like it has more stopping power than the SteelSeries QCK, the Matrix mouse pads, the Glorious Helios, and the HK series mouse pad that I recently reviewed. It has a buttery smooth glide that's fast, but not to the point where it makes me stop performing or it makes me consciously think about my gameplay style. Tracking with AR or spray weapons was really easy to do with this pad, and in the same way, the thickness on this mouse pad gave me plenty of room to dig into the pad to stop quickly and hit headshots. Comparing this mouse pad to others that I've tried recently, it is faster than the Matrix mouse pads, it's faster than the Steel Series QCK, it's slower than the series that I recently reviewed, and it is slower than the Glorious Helios. This is going to put it right in that middle ground, which I would say is about right. For claw surfaces, I would put this on the higher end of the middle though. The main reasons that make this pad great for me is the speed you get here combined with the stopping power from the thickness. And this mouse pad is thick with the 4mm of pad thickness. With the only other mouse pad that I've tried with this level of thickness, 
being the Steel Series QCK Heavy Edition. Having that added depth is going to contribute to your ability to slow down faster and easier since you're going to have more room to dig deep into your mouse pad and slow down your arm and wrist aim. The Odin pad also doesn't have any weird coating or texture, so that's going to contribute to its ability to stay consistent over time. Which is important because every time you go to game with your setup, you want it to be as close to the last time that you used it, and that way when practicing your aim or your movement, you can focus on adjusting your wrist or arm aim, and not also have to account for the speed of your mouse pad changing as well. I like that it doesn't have any coating, but I will say that as you use it over time, it will wear down from regular wear and tear. That's how surfaces work. You use them over time, you're rubbing something together, and it's gonna start losing some of that freshness and the stitching will begin wearing down. However, since it doesn't have any coating, this will make it wear down at a much slower pace. So like I said, this is a W in my eyes. So do I recommend this mouse pad and is it worth the money? I think this mouse pad is worth the money if you want a great balance of speed and control with a bit more of an emphasis on the speed aspect and it's also within your budget. It is a bit on the pricier side, especially when you go up to the larger sizes like the double XL and the triple XL, but I believe the quality and performance of this pad does warrant the higher price. Between the quality of the stitching, the glide you get here, the colorway options available, and the different sizes, I really can't see you going wrong with picking one of these up. This is my new main personal mouse pad that I'm going to be using until I find something better. That's how much I like this mouse pad. Like usual, I'm going to put the links for purchase down below in the description, so if you want to get your hands on the Odin Zero Gravity mouse pad, you can go ahead and do that. If you found this video even a little bit entertaining or interesting, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button since it really helps out the channel, Channel. and if you're new here i make all types of content on tech and gaming so if you're interested in this type of content consider checking out the channel and subscribing if you have any questions that you want to ask me live consider stopping by the twitch stream we talk about tech we play lots of games and it's an overall good time like always you guys are awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one